Hey guys, it's Sylvia Beauty Junkie 824, and today's Wednesday, my weigh in day. So, I will start with that. Okay, at the beginning of my journey, I started at 243.8. Um, last week, I weighed in at 214.5. This week, I weighed in at 217.7, which is a substantial gain, I would say. Um, 3.2 pound gain, which brings my total loss um, down from 29 pounds to 26.1 pounds. Now, a lot of that, you know, I knew that I was going to um, gain because I went camping over the weekend and, you know, as much as I was watching closely, I wasn't, you know, I, I wasn't logging anything, you know, so really I was just kind of going by okay I think I'm a little full I think that should be fine making sure that I had healthy options there but I drank a lot of alcohol <laughs> um, you know we uh, I, my whole family got together we haven't been together for a while now and it was just nice it was we had a really really good time um, I m brought locale alcohol but because I think I was drinking I wasn't um, dr taking in as much water so when I came back I had a huge amount of swelling um, and water retention which is a problem I know I've talked to you guys about before so um, when I came back actually I came back Sunday night and I weighed myself when I got back and I was what my scale showed to be five pounds that I had gained um, which I was like wow that's a lot you know and then I weighed myself again yesterday Tuesday and it was an additional two pound gain. And I was like, holy macaroni, seven pounds in three days? Like that seems a little excessive. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. I started messing around with my scale and I noticed if I moved it over to one part, I would, um, I would drop like, you know, a couple of pounds. If I moved it back into a different spot, I might drop a half a pound. I mean, it was like saying 214 and then 216, then 218, then 217. And finally, I have it in the position where I always keep it. Um, and I have weighed myself throughout the day today to kind of see if there was a fluctuation. And 217.7 seems to be um, the right amount. Um, I Because of the substantial gain, um, I decided that I would try the detox that Banded Wendy did back in, I want to say it was 2009, but it could have been after that. Um, but I saw a video that she had done like a holiday detox or something, just a 24 hour thing. I don't have enough willpower to do that for more than a day. So I decided to go ahead and try that and I have my cup, oh, my cup of lemon water right here. Um, it's been going okay. I did go to the gym and I had read that if you're doing a detox and you go to the gym, you should keep it um, within the weight loss zone rather than the um, weight loss and, and the cardio, but not to go into the anaerobic zone. So I guess you take 180 and subtract your weight or your age. Sorry, you take 180, you subtract your age and you should be working out with your heart rate under that number. So, um, and I guess that's to help drain your lymphatic system, which is something new that I learned over the last two days, um, figuring out if I was actually going to do the detox or not. Um, so I went and I did that, but after my workout, I started feeling really dizzy, which is something I thought, you know, like, gosh, I'm not getting any protein in, you know, and I am going and burning a little bit you know, of calories and everything, so I wasn't sure exactly how it was going to all work out. Um, started feeling a little dizzy, so I ended up getting one of those um, Odwalla, super, the original superfood, the green ones, um, and I had that to supplement, and that actually helped me get over that feeling of um, blurry vision and feeling dizzy and stuff like that, so that ended up working fine and I'll probably make something tomorrow to just a quick like maybe minute video just to let you know if I actually lose any weight between today and tomorrow based on that detox today. 
So, um, let's see here. Okay, I think that was the, all of those things. Oh, this part is ridiculous. Okay, so I told you, you know, I ate pretty good over camping and stuff like that. Well, on Sunday, we decided um, we were going to go out to dinner on the way home from camping. Well, <clears throat> my cousin, um, I guess her son wasn't feeling well, so we decided, okay, let's just stop somewhere along the way and we'll just you know grab a quick bite and then get back on the road well they decided that they wanted mcdonald's so i went to mcdonald's haven't been inside mcdonald's haven't had mcdonald's in quite a while chicken nuggets are my the bane of my existence and so are the french fries um i didn't order them I ordered because um, I thought that might trigger some something in my brain that would make me want chicken nuggets every day for the next week. So I ended up going in there, but didn't. I was surprised at how fast all of everything I know about going into a place, whether it be a fast food place, but finding healthier options and different ways to to eat what they have on the menu so that you are keeping, you know, a grasp over what you're eating. Um, and I ordered a double quarter pounder with cheese. Why did I do the double? I don't know. I don't know. Double. I could have had a regular. No. Double. And a medium french fries that came, you know, with the meal and everything. So, could have ordered a small, you know, could have separated things. No, nope, didn't even give it a second thought. I just ordered. And I mean, quickly. I didn't even think about it. I just ordered it. It was like, just came naturally. And then, to wash that all down, I didn't drink a soda. That's really good. No, instead I ordered a chocolate milkshake. Um, now, like I said, what was I thinking? Chocolate milkshake double quarter pounder with cheese, medium french fries. Okay, two good things came from that. I was eating my burger first to be the good girl that was eating her protein first. Uh, but and my while I was doing that, my husband ate most of my french fries. So, that was a good thing. With the milkshake, I only drank about half of it. It was a small because it was just too damn sweet. I couldn't couldn't even finish it. I was like, this was not refreshing. I should have ordered water, but yeah, I was surprised at myself, though, at how quickly or instantaneously I could walk into a place like that and revert back to everything that I have learned over the last couple of months. Like, just revert back to not knowing any of that or to not caring about any of that. So that was, um, that was interesting for me. Um, big news. I emailed my surgeon last night and let him know that I decided to go with the VSG. Uh, my husband and I spent the last couple of days talking about it on the way back from camping. We had a long discussion about, you know, what we thought would be best and, you know, for us, for me, it's, it's VSG. So I emailed my surgeon and he emailed me this morning and said, okay. You know, we'll make sure we make a note in your file. And, you know, I'm still at a point where I don't know, I have no idea what's going on with it. I have to wait until August 8th and then I call in with my weigh in information and everything. And then from there, I don't know. Then I, I guess I get on a waiting list and, but I'm not sure. No idea about dates still. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know about my wonderful 3.2 pound gain, which I know is mostly from drinking alcohol, not drinking enough water, water retention, because my food I really didn't do too bad on, um, aside from the McDonald's, which if I could have not logged that, I wouldn't have, but, well, technically, no, I didn't log anything from that, those whole days. I didn't log anything. I started fresh on Monday, back to normal with the detox thing today um, and I think I'm gonna end up having some chicken or something at the end of the night tonight because I don't feel like I can just survive the rest of the day off of juice but um, that's it guys alright so I will talk to you soon okay bye